Speaking of Missouri, hmm. let's talk about the Tigers. They're coming off a, a huge season, but they lose a lot of talent. A lot, a lot. Darius Perkins, Chris Abrams, Drain. Yeah, you know, uh, Ennis Rake Straw. Ennis Straw. Yep. Yeah, the I mean, defensive so line. Darius two... Robinson is that his name? Like, yeah, I mean, sorry. yeah, I keep saying Cody, Darius Cody, Robinson is who I'm talking about. Cody, yes, I'm sorry. Cody Schrader. I mean, Cody they, Schrader on at running a lot back. Of production yeah. on both sides. But again, <laughs> schedule draw matters. Absolutely. Also, these guys have been good in the portal. Luther Burden, one of the most dynamic receivers in the country, comes back. Williams yes. Nwari. A highly sought after defensive lineman in state Absolutely. guy is is joining the team. Like you mentioned that you know they got a, a an offensive lineman from Oklahoma that they liked yep. a lot. Yeah, so Caden Green's gonna be a player now. They've done a good job rebuilding, reloading, however you want to call it. And then you look at the schedule, and it certainly seems like this is a team that could win double digit games again. Where where they've got to figure it out is is you know the I don't even think like you don't have to beat Alabama. They go to Tuscaloosa. Right. You do not have to beat Alabama, but you need to beat Auburn. You need to go to College Station and win. Yes, and if you do that, I think there's a really good chance you're in the playoff. I think so too, and I think it helps having continuity of quarterback again. I think Brady Cook being back is one of the top quarterbacks in the conference. I think one of the biggest things that outside of the personnel that they're missing right on the defensive side of the ball, losing Blake Baker hurts because he's a guy that knows how to scheme players up. And I think losing some of the starters up front, make things a little interesting on that side of the ball, but I don't see this offense slowing down by any means, especially looking at that schedule. I think another game to throw in there that could be a toss up to Oklahoma at home. Yeah. But to your point, Andy, I think this is a team that maybe loses what three games this year. I, I had eight and four as the floor. Okay. It, yeah. it, it just, you know, if the defense does not come around and, and right, because again, you lost some really impactful players and your coordinator, but I don't think it's much worse than that. I think, I and, and if you think about where they were a couple of years ago, the idea that the floor <laughs> exactly for Missouri in the SEC, yep. an SEC that includes Texas and Oklahoma. That the floor is eight and four. It's a pretty right. phenomenal. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a phenomenal. pretty big jump for them. Yeah. I think, you know, Columbia sort of has this expectation now where Eli Drinkwitz has instilled that. And I think he's showing it on the recruiting trail. He's showing it in the portal. He's showing it in the post game handshake. You know, that yeah. these guys are. We stand on business. Exactly. Like these guys are really about that life. And I think this season is going to prove that once again. Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here. So you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on three. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the on three sports YouTube channel.